Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you two show bags I got from the Easter, Royal Easter Show this year. Um, they are both slime show bags and I got them both for $10 and we're going to, I'm going to be showing you what's inside and if they're worth it. So let's get into it. Let's start with the slime zone. First thing is a sticky snapper hand. That is sticky. The next thing Neon slime. It feels really nice. But it rips apart easily. And it's hard to put back together. But it's really pretty. Go to the next one. Another neon slime, but now it's green. It feels the same as the other one. I think I like this one better because it's prettier. Next slime is toilet noise putty. feels really weird. It's like hard but jiggly at the same time and it's not very stretchy. I don't really like this one. But the color is pretty nice. But I don't really like it, the feeling of it. It feels really weird. One is glow in the dark slime. <laughs> mm, I like the look of that one. It looks nice and clear. You can see my hand through it. This is probably my favorite one so far. It's the same as the first two neon ones. It doesn't really um, connect, but it still looks really pretty. And let's get the next one. Another neon body. Oh, this one feels more like a slime. The other two ones were jiggly, but this one feels more like stretchy. This one's my favorite one so far. I like this one, and it's my favorite color, blue. Let's go to the next <coughs> one. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a galaxy slime ball. Ooh. Yeah, this one's nice. This one is the one that feels most like slime so far. It's more of a putty, but it feels more like slime than the other ones. I 
I like this one and it's really pretty. The galaxy colors are really nice. It's not too stretchy, but still feels cool. So put this one away now and go to the next one. Barrel of slime. This one's a really pretty pink nail one again. This one's another jiggly one. Hmm, this one's nice. This is my favorite colored one we've probably gotten so far, but it does is not. It doesn't feel like my favorite one. Same as the neon ones, but it feels like worse. It rips even easier, and it connects even. You see, it's even harder to connect. So I don't really like this one, but the color is still really nice and pretty. Okay, let's get the next one. I don't think there's many left anymore. Uh, oh, another barrel barrel of slime. It's a black one this time. I really like the color of this one. It looks really cool. It looks like like something from an alien movie. It's just weird looking and it's weird feeling. Same as the other barrel of slime, of course, slime of course. But yeah, let's get to the next slime. Okay, let's just dump out the rest of the slime. Let's open up this slime ball first. It looks like a, it has green glitter in it and it's really clear. That looks nice. Oh. Yeah, this one's my new favorite. It's so pretty. And it feels the most like slime here. Definitely my new favorite one. Okay, the next one, we'll do this one. Two tone putty. It's green and orange and has googly eyes. Let's mix them together. This one's like really hard, like a putty. It's the most hardest one I've probably felt, and the orange one. But I don't really like this one at all. So, I mean, the colors were nice before I mixed them, but I don't really like it. The next one, we'll do the Galaxy Space Slime. looks really pretty and it looks like another jiggly slime now that looks pretty what's your favorite color in this my one's the green part again really jiggly it rips it rips easily and it's hard to put back together but it still looks very nice so let's put this one back and get onto the last slime in the slime zone show back the 
the last one is called Unicorn Poo Putty. Well, that sounds nice. It looks like a pink glitter slime. This one feels hard. Like a putty again. But it looks so pretty. Like it has a neon pink with some glitter in it. Yeah, I like this one. Really pretty, but it's hard and it doesn't stretch easily. And it rips easily as well. And I really like the label on this one. I definitely think all the slimes in the slime zone bag are worth it. Because you get 12 slimes and one of these just for $10. And you can just walk into a shop and get one of the slimes for 5 to $6. So I definitely think it's worth it. And even though some of the slimes weren't good, it was still worth it. So, yeah. So this is a slimy fun bag. So... <laughs> Let's get one of the slimes out. First slime I see is the uh, orange slime pop. This one looks really cool. It's a jiggly slime, as you can see. It's kind of hard to get out, but that doesn't really bother me. Once again, the color's really pretty. And I like this one much more than the neon ones in the other bag, in the Slime Zone bag, because this one is actually pretty stretchy. And like, it feels more like a slime when the other ones felt just like water, pretty much. Yeah, so this one's much better quality than the neon slime ones. And this one actually kind of smells like soda to me. I don't know, but yeah, let's get on to the next slime. The next slime I'm going to show you is the Crystal Clay um, Pink Slime. This one feels like it's so pretty because it's crystal. This one feels like a slime, mostly. And like, you can see through it. It does rip, but it doesn't feel like clay. This isn't clay. It's like a putty more than a clay. A clay is like much different to this. So let's get on to the next slime. Another crystal clay. And this one's green. So let's open it. Really crystal, crystal clear. I just love how clear it is. It's really nice to play with. And same one as before because it's the exact same thing. And I really like the colour as well. So let's get on to the next. Next we have a green slime pop. So this one is exactly like the orange one, but which color do you like more? I like the, I think I like the green one more. So let's get on to the next one. The next slime is a red slime surprise. Oh, this one looks like blood. That's not pleasant. Can you see that? It looks like a spider. And it is a spider. This one feels weird. I don't know how to describe. 
it and it's really creepy it's really red but this one feels like it feels like a runny slime but a normal slime as well I don't really know how to describe this one hopefully you know what it feels like by watching me play with it but let's just get on to the next one bounce ball putty slime bounce ball putty Okay, this one is like an actual thinking putty. Really stretchy. You can't really poke it or play with it like you would play with a normal slime. And it, I love the colour once again. And yeah, let's get on to the last. There's also these stickers in it that you can put on your windows. So, okay, let's get on to the last slime, which is another slime pop. It's a neon yellow one this time. Okay, let's just take that one. So. It feels exactly the same as the other two ones, of course. And um, this is probably... No, the green one would be my favourite colour out of these ones. And that's all for the slimy fun bag. So this is everything that was in the slimy fun bag. I do think this was worth $10. And I really enjoyed playing with them. So I do think both of these slimes are both, um, I do think they are both worth their price. And I hope this helps you if you wanted to go to the Royal Easter Show and if you didn't know which slime bag to get or if you want to get both and so you know what they feel like. And also if you want to see more slime videos of slimes that I make, make sure to go follow Berry Slimes on Instagram. It is my slime account and it would mean a lot to me if you follow it and check out my videos. And I hope you enjoyed this video and bye.